in this video we will be talking about uh, swords to begin with what is what are swords they are irrational root of an integer for example numbers that uh, we cannot simplify the root further and we have root 2 root 3 root 5 root 7 and root 11 and that is just to begin with so we are going to be discussing the common rules and the basic skills after that we'll look at addition and subtraction of sod multiplication of sods division conjugate sod rationalizing the denominator and at a later time we can start looking at the advanced topic in sods and we we'll look at equality of sod and equation involving sod so without wasting time let's get down to business let's talk about uh, the six common rules that we will help that will help us to understand how to handle sorts so this is the first one when we have a square root and we multiply a by b we can break it into square root of a and square root of b so let's take an example we have a root 27 the first thing we look for is the factor the factor of 27 we have 9 and 3 so 9 times 3 will give us 27 applying the first rule we can actually break them into square root of 9 and square root of 3 and what is the square root of 9 that will be 3 and this will be root 3 so if we multiply the two together it's going to give us 3 root 3 that is the first example under the first rule another example could be root 18 here we can look for the factor also that will be 9 times 2 so if we go further we can have root 9 multiplied by root 2 so what we want to establish in the first rule is that we can break two numbers if we have the factors established so we have square root of uh, 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by root 2 so this will give us 3 multiplied by root 2 and that will give us 3 root 2 so when we cannot solve a root further that is when we have sod so this is the first example let's go to the second rule in the second rule we have square root of a over b and the same principle that applying a we can always break them into two so a good example that come to mind is a 144 over 121 so in order to solve this further we can separate the square root into the denominator of square root of 144 and square root of a 121 and if we solve further we'll determine the square root of 144 to be 12 and the square root of 121 to be 11 so this will be our final answer for this example so we just put the example there another example that we can also play with is a uh, we have 81 over 100 so we apply the rule we have 81 square roots as a numerator and then the square root of 100 as a denominator and if we solve further we're going to have 9 because 9 times 9 is the square root of a 81 so we can just break it into two this is 9 times 9 and this will be 10 times 10 just for brevity because if we have watched the video under indices it helps to explain why this answer will be 9 and this will be 10 so please if you are still struggling with that you can just go back to one of my video on indices and see the reasons why this answer 
is uh, this way just uh, to recap when we have a sort you know, of this nature we can always have it as raised to power half if we have a number indicated as cube then it becomes a cube root so that is a uh, covered under uh, indices so let's go to the third rule this is a, a unique situation where we have a sword as a denominator it is typically an irrational number that we cannot leave as a denominator because we will not be able to do anything with it in order to simplify the problem we can perform an action called rationalization and how do we rationalize when we talk about rationalization we are going to have the numerator over square root of a and then we multiply the numerator by square root of a and multiply the denominator also by square root of a so this process is called rationalization of the sword and the objective is that uh, by the time these square roots in the denominator multiply each other it helps cancel everything out so let's see how this one plays out we have b multiplied by square root of a and square root of a multiplied by square root of a so this will give us b square root of a and then we have a times a and this will be b square root of a over a and this is how we rationalize we can look at uh, two examples also to drive home the point so say for example we have 3 over square root of 5 so this will become 3 over square root of 5 then in the process of rationalization we multiply the denominator and the numerator by square root of 5 so we have root 5 and root 5 and this will give us 3 times root 5 over root 5 times root 5 and this will give us 3 root 5 over square root of a 25 and what is the square root of 25 so we have 3 root 5 over 5 so that is the first example let's take the second example we have 4 over square root of 7 and if we calculate it further we do the same thing 4 over root 7 and we multiply the numerator by the rationalized number and square root of 7 this will give us 4 times root 7 over root 7 times root 7 and this will give us 4 root 7 over square root of a 49 and we're going to have 4 root 7 over 7 so you can see the difference now that it really helps us to make a sense out of a of an insensible number so thank you very much for watching if you are benefiting from this video please like the video and subscribe to this channel see you in the next video